April is a month all about our furry friends from National Pet Day. A few weeks ago, you saw all those posts on social media to adopt a shelter pet day coming up next week. Azure Davis, the founder of Rough Start Rescue, joins us this morning. Good morning. Glad to be with, uh, see you this morning. Yes, good morning. Thanks for having us. Before we get started, introduce us to uh, your friend there. <laughs> this is Lance. This is actually my Rough Start adopted alumni. He's not available, just so everyone knows. <laughs> but uh, he likes to make his little appearances and represent. Yeah, nice to have him with us this morning as well. Well, I know it's been a busy year for pet adoptions with more people spending time at home, looking for some companionship. Why is adoption um, important all year round? Yeah, there's, I mean, I could name a million reasons, but uh, just for the sake of time, the top reasons, for one, I mean, you save a life, you know, when you adopt a pet. The other reason is, there are over still a million animals just in the United States that are euthanized every single year uh, due to overpopulation. And these are highly adoptable animals that are looking for a second chance. And we need more adopters because of that reason. I mean, they, they're in shelters, they're all over the U.S. and the overpopulation, is, it's still an issue. So even though there has been an increase this year, there's still a need, it sounds like. So what should people who might be considering adopting know first? Yeah, I think right now, if someone's looking, especially for a puppy or a kitten, we're going into puppy and kitten season right now in the spring. So this would be a really good time to be checking out the Rough Start Rescue website. Uh, and also, you know, if someone thinks maybe they're not quite ready, they can always start with fostering and see if that kind of, you get a feel that way you're not committed to have that dog or cat uh, or critter <laughs> forever. <laughs> Um, but it's something you can try in your home and see how it goes and see if you're ready for that responsibility. Um, and then you get first pick as a foster if you want to adopt that dog. So fostering is more about having it for a shorter period of time and maybe growing into a forever home. Yeah, yep, exactly. And you know, it, it's so rewarding. The fostering piece is so rewarding. Adopting is too, but we always kind of say, you know, there's shelters when we take a lot of these dogs or these cats, they're coming from shelters that are overpopulated. We're taking them into the rescue. We don't have a physical location. Um, so we rely heavily on those foster homes to be able to say yes to take those animals in. That's wonderful. Now you mentioned the website. So who is up for adoption right now through Rough Start Rescue? We have so many. Last I checked, there was over 130, uh, and which is actually kind of crazy because we have more rotating throughout. Just to give you an idea, we save on average about nine animals a day. Uh, so every weekend we have more animals coming in. So keep checking the site if you don't see one that catches your eye. Uh, but it is a little interesting because with the pandemic last year, everyone wanted a pet. And so there's a lot of people I feel that were maybe discouraged uh, if they tried to apply last year and they couldn't get a pet. That's not the case anymore. Things are slowing down. We have a lot of animals that still need homes, whether that be a foster or an adopter. Good. Well, maybe that will give someone um, the idea that now is the time, if they were waiting, um, now is the time to do it. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing that information. Yes, thank you so much for having us. All right. To learn more about Rough Start Rescue in Princeton and the animals available to adopt right now, you can visit our website, wcco.com links, and we will get you there.